Morning, boys and girls of the internet. Um, there's another surprise coming out of PlayStation this morning. Um, it's to look at the PlayStation 5 user interface, or user experience, as to say. Um, Sony's been tight lipped once again. Um, you know, kind of systems less than a month away. One month. Um, that they haven't shown anything from the interface. And a lot of people were questioning, it's like, what is it going to look like? Xbox already showed what their system was looking like because it's pretty much an evolution of what um, is on the uh, Xbox One at One series. Um, so this would be interesting to see how different this will be from the PS4. Um, so it should be interesting to see. Let's uh, check it out. In fact, one sec. Switch the headphones so you don't really you know hear dual audio. Let's see it. State of play. Hi everyone, I'm Hideaki Nishino, oh, and Hideaki. I head up PlayStation's platform planning and management team, which includes product and UX design. Today, we, we are finally like... going to give you a look at the PlayStation 5 user experience. Finally. We will see some of the features that enable games to work together with the hardware and network to deliver a truly next generation hmm. experience. Our vision for a PS5 user experience is simple. We believe that your playtime is valuable and should be meaningful. PlayStation team members from all around the world work to deliver a PS5 experience that is completely centered on you, the player, connecting you with a great play like and a passionate PS4, community of, of uh, waves. With a look as, and uh, feel that's designed for 4K TVs, the PS5 Bokeh user balls. experience was built from the ground up to take advantage of the console capabilities complementing the transformative games coming with this new generation. I should note that this video tour is from a pre-production environment on the PS5 console, so there may be a few small wrinkles or minor changes once the console launches in November. Actually, plenty of updates and or day one updates, now, let's say. check it out, courtesy of it's our own change up what it's going to evolve into. Thanks, Nishino-san. Welcome to your new PlayStation 5 console experience. This time, we've started up from rest mode. We've already created an account and signed into PlayStation Network, so let's log in. Hmm. In this case, I've resumed right where I left off in Sackboy, A Big Adventure. And here, we're looking at PlayStation 5's control Zoom right into where you... From Sorry. here, it's one click, and we're right back into the game. But let's take a moment and look around. The control center is always one tap of the PlayStation button away. It provides immediate access to almost everything you need from the system without leaving all, like, the, the controls on the bottom side like having it, you know, online, checking the status of a download, the managing your controller, the power, and more. These colorful characters are called cards, and they let you interact with games and the system in a variety of ways. First, as we've just resumed, the Control Center is showing a special card that allows me to get up to date on recent stories posted by publishers for games I am following. Hmm. Try to make it like social media. Another like. card here shows me recent media I've captured from my gameplay using the Create button on the DualSense controller. Let's check out one of the most powerful new features of the PS5 console. They're actually just to the right in this row, and we call them Activities. Activities are part of the plan to remove barriers to hmm. gameplay. Let's get an example of one way they're used in Sackboy, A Big Adventure. With a tap of the PlayStation button, I'm back to playing the game. Sackboy, A Big Adventure is packed with things to discover, and each level represents one type of activity I can play, many of which I can go back to later to discover more. I tap the PlayStation button to bring up the control center again. I can see a number of available activities both active and suggested by the system. Let's take this first one, A Big Adventure, as an example. I can see that I haven't quite completed mm. this level yet. I'm at 33%. Let's open it up and see more. Here I can see more information, including key objectives I haven't met. And I'm seeing a very important piece of information here. It says about 10 minutes left. This is PlayStation 5's personalized playtime estimate, giving me an idea how long it will take me to complete this activity. That's interesting. I don't know how it'll work with Some other games that's even not let you jump level based or something. That place in the game. I mean, obviously, this game is very level based, but. 
but there's more to see here. For another example, I'm let's sure open that activity up to back developers. up. It looks like I missed an objective to find the monk robes costume piece. Looks like I need a little help. Some in-game activities, like this one, offer official game help. Game help is included as a benefit for active PlayStation Plus members in some PS5 huh. games. In this case, I can open up that objective to get some hints without resorting to a web search or digging through long videos or articles that might be interesting. Spoilers. But... This particular hint is a video, and I can play it here in the card, and I can expand huh. it to get a bigger view without leaving. I guess it helps a lot of Sometimes gamers, it's but really useful um, to be able to see the hint on screen. I don't know if I'm going to use that Some cards uh, feature, can be put in a picture in picture mode, might or as let you here, find things that um, view. Super cool. you know you wouldn't and know you a card, in the game. You Sometimes you miss a lot of things, and you can think anytime. that you're now. Let's you know, go find those doing everything in the game. Monk robes. Thanks, Game Help. The team at PlayStation wanted to make it really easy to chat with your friends on the PlayStation 5 nice console. So let's check out how it works. Here, I'm opening a bit, an interactive uh, notification with a tap on the PlayStation to to chats. And I've decided to join the voice chat that my friend just entered. Now, my friend could have done this on the PlayStation app for mobile devices, from a PS4, or in this case, from a PS5. The DualSense controller features an integrated microphone, too, so I could start talking right away. But I always have the ability to hit the mute button on the controller or in the menus. Parties take on an expanded role with PS5, hmm. and they now provide persistent spaces to connect with groups that you play with. Here I have a couple of friends chatting away in the party. One of them has started sharing their screen with the group. Looks like they're playing Uncharted The Lost Legacy. We can chat while we play, and I can watch his hmm. progress as well. This is another card that could be put in picture-in-picture -picture mode, or pinned to the That's side while you play. You can access it anytime via the control center too, but let's dismiss huh. it for now. So you playing your game and watch other people play okay, the game. Okay, let's review. So far, See what they're we've doing. seen how activities on PS5 will make it easier and faster to hop back into PS5. That games, might make it and um, how you easier in-game help and chat with your friends. Um, so that leaves. So say if you're playing the same game gaming. and Let's like someone having a hard time with what they're doing, you can watch my friends are online. So it's time to kind of help guide them that for way. now and spin up a match of Destruction All Stars. One of my friends in the party has already started a match, and we can join them from this card in Control Center. And there we go. Destruction All-Stars now quickly starts thanks to PS5's ultra-high-speed mm. SSD. Okay, I think we've got enough people on our party, so let's jump in. We're keeping the focus on PS5's user experience today, so let's zip ahead weird. so we can see more. It's like I, um... And just like that, we're in. We don't have time to play a full match today, but I do think we have time to take a quick photo. To do that, I'll just tap the Create button on the DualSense controller. PS5 is always capturing recent gameplay, but when you compose hmm. a shot, even using in-game photo mode, you can capture a high-quality screenshot here. This optimizes capturing the moment, letting you review and choose to share later on. I should mention, screenshots and video can be captured at up to 4K on the PS5 nice. console. Okay, so far we've shown off how to jump into activities, how to chat with your friends, get into groups together to play, capturing gameplay, all of that while in game. But what if I want to play a different game? No. Welcome to the PlayStation 5 home oh, screen. Okay. This is where you'll land when you start up from a powered off state and where you'll go when you want to choose a new game to play or download. Really kind of the layout of the smaller. space is designed to present games and game content beautifully on a 4K display with simple and super fast access to what you need. And in case you're wondering, media related apps will have their own space like this one. But today we're focused on gaming. 
Each game has its own hub completely integrated, so all you need to do is scroll down to see activities you can jump right into. Video clips, stories about the game, DLC, mm. and more. Backward compatible PS4 titles will benefit from some of these features too. Let's move one spot to the left and check out Explore, which brings together all your mm. games. We saw a view of this from the control center earlier, and another view will also be in the new PlayStation app for mobile devices. Explore keeps you in the loop with official stories from PlayStation and from all the games you're following, including trending media from the community. We'll be testing and learning about Probably this feature in the really US at launch, so not everyone will yeah, have community this features on, on PS4 too. But it gives really you a good idea of the direction. And this is PlayStation Store for PS5. It's completely integrated into the system. It's not a standalone app. Oh, anymore. that's good. Browsing for new Sometimes games the, to play uh, will be easier than the speed store can of PS5 like and a more personalized slow. store experience. And here, you'll be able to browse the latest games and deals. You'll find PS5 games and many backward compatible PS4 games, too. I'm sad to say, but we are almost out of time. So let's pull up Control Center one more time with a tap of the PlayStation button. On our way out, why don't we quickly share that photo we took in Destruction All-Stars? We can find recently captured media in this handy card in Control Center. From here, we can do some quick edits, but I think I'm ready to share it right now. On PlayStation 5, I have the option to share videos and images to supported external services, or I can send them directly to one of my parties. Remember, parties are bigger than just voice chat now. So I'll select one of my favorite parties here. Hmm. Let's attach a quick message here. The DualSense controller makes this really easy. PlayStation 5 supports voice dictation in a number of languages, so you no longer have to oh, type thank messages God. with the keyboard if you don't want to. Simply select the microphone button. Here's a cool detail. If my friend hasn't yet played the activity where I captured this media, and the game's developer thinks that activity might contain spoilers, they'll receive a warning before they view it. <laughs> well, that's it for our demo. There are many more exciting features we couldn't get to today, but we're super excited to share more of the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation app user experience with you in the coming weeks headed to launch. And of course, this was just a first look at what fans could expect on day one. The team at PlayStation is committed to evolving this experience with our community in the months ahead. We look forward to sharing more. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> so that's interesting. Um, they definitely seem like they simplified things um, would streamline things, I should say, which is just good. It's always good to have something uh, more streamlined like that. Um, so, seems to be pretty uh, straightforward interface, um, nothing too complicated. Um, user friendly, that's always good to have uh, something that's user friendly. Um, it's probably going to take a little while to um, find your favorite features like. Um, that you know where you can see your tasks or like uh, get hints and stuff for games. I'm sure that's very developer centric. Um, whether that developers want to put that kind of thing in their games or how much they want to put um, related to those. Um, same thing with like when you share media, uh, the media can be tagged with um, you know spoiler content or something like that if you're sharing it with friends. That's interesting. Um, I noticed when he went to go share, um, uh, an option for sharing on Twitter was there. Um, I was a little upset before um, with PS4 that they took away the ability to share to Facebook. Um, and because I thought that uh, when they had that option, they gave you the ability to share like a ton of pictures if you wanted to, which I liked. Um, you know, when you share things to Twitter, you only have, can like share up to four pictures at a time. Sometimes I like to go screenshot heavy, especially with beautiful games like um, Last of Us Part Two or Ghost of Tsushima. I love playing around with photo mode. And, you know, if you only share a few pictures at a time, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, now, I wonder if uh, they'll do things where you can, like, transfer to things like, um, say, like a, a your PlayStation app on your phone or something. Um, that'd be neat to do. Um, that way you can, like, go and share it, you know, elsewhere. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting. Um, so less than a month away, um, till this is going to be in my hand. So 
Uh, I'll definitely do an unboxing video. Um, I'll try to get that done as soon as I bring the system home. I'm um, going to have to find some room in my cabinet for it because it's pretty full right now. Um, probably going to put some other things away inside of it. Uh, I'll figure that out, you know, closer to the release. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. You know, can't wait till the system comes out and I get my hands on it. Um, what do you think of the interface? Uh, let me know down below uh, if you're excited for it. Uh, if some of these features they showed off were pretty cool, um, or if they're pretty lame, uh, it's up to you. Um, so let me know. Have a good day.